Is that it? It might be. But let's check out the bridge. Hey you guys, AK47 Master here, bringing you guys some more Sonic Adventure Part 10. Yes. Sorry, my bad. I thought I heard something. Anyways, on this episode, we are going to be heading to the bridge of the egg carrier. And I know last episode ended off kind of short, and it's actually a pretty funny story of how it happened. Basically, um, my camera, I had taken about like five minutes of footage that I forgot to delete because it was raw footage I wasn't going to upload. So it just so happened that I had enough, just enough time to finish the sky deck. So that is actually just coincidental so anyways let's head up to the let's head up to the egg carriers um i don't I, cockpit i think that's what it's called the proper term cockpit all right Alright, so here we have another rival battle with one of Eggman's um, E-Series robots. These are actually some of his first robots, or some of his first actually advanced and useful robots. Specifically Gamma himself, but still, he's super easy. Alright, so now we have unlocked E-102, Gamma, codenamed Gamma, as a playable character, and that leaves only one more character to unlock. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. And now, uh, what a bloody coincidence. The cut, the uh, we I accidentally blocked off the uh, subtitles. Well, at least the second layer of subtitles. Oh my god! Me and my crappy uh, TV light lining up, lining up of my TV. Anyways, that is pretty much how you change the ship back to its original shape. You have to get to the captain's quarters, flip the switch, and boom! Original shape engaged. And now instead of using that um, Eggman 
little well, what, what was that that floating Eggman device and oh my god what a fail and I can't even skip this crap my bad my bad why cannot you why can you not skip this all right let's get out of here that wasted like 30 seconds what the hell all right so now you're gonna want to head to the ships the center of the ship where you see a giant purple cat and Eggman yeah that's normal Alright, and here is one of our final battles with Chaos. Note the fact that I said one of our final battles. There will be another one. Anyways, um, this fight with Chaos, it's kind of... I don't know what to say. It, sometimes I find it easy, sometimes I find it hard, so it's more or less so-so. Basically, you gotta use these little devices that will freeze Chaos. Throw them at him. Then he freezes up, and for some reason, I had a massive frame rate loss on my game. I don't know where that came from. Did you guys see that? That was like some massive, massive frame rate loss. But yeah, this guy isn't, he isn't too difficult. And I believe you have to fight him like three times, so trust me. There is one time we gotta fight him where he is, does seem to be a bit more annoying. Anyways, let's just throw that thing at him. And I'll freeze him up. Not really too hard. It's pretty much just a bunch of repetition. And you can see that his skeleton is kind of like a vessel for the Chaos Emerald. It's actually pretty cool. And you're gonna want pretty much. This is pretty much the easiest move, boss move to ever dodge. I mean, really. Even when they do hit you, it barely do doesn't seem to do any damage for some reason. So whatever. I'll just keep on attacking them. Alright, Eggman, give me those give me those robots that for some reason you're helping me out to destroy your own creation. Whatever. Pretty simple boss fight. Light. I think it's 
trying to show me something. Alright guys, and with that we unlock Big the Cat, the 6th and final character of this game. Final playable character, anyways. On the next episode, we will head into these this totally not creepy at all temple, ancient temple that the light wants us to go into, because that's obviously a great idea. Anyways, see you guys on the next episode.